All right, day one of the crappie mashers on Grenada Lake. Let me tell you, it's gonna be an exciting episode. We're gonna catch huge fish. I already know it because of how this week has transpired. Everybody's catching big fish. We're hoping for a three pound fish. That's our goal today. Um, have a great time. We fish 110%. I am fishing alone. Marcus has a funeral to go to, so it's just me. We're gonna put some big fish in the boat. I love, I'll be honest, I do love fishing by myself. So, um, but I do miss my net man, no doubt about it. So check out my setup here. <clears throat> So I've got five rods out right now. I even have a 16 footer. I have a 16 footer out because, well, sometimes they get really spooky and if I can reach just that much further, I think it'll be a good deal. Live scope's fired up. I'm doing a little pre-check as if the fish are here, which they are, I've seen them. It's sad, we're about an hour before uh, the start time. And so when you see a big fish, you wanna, you wanna get on it. But, they're moving around, so I really can't keep one in my scope right now at this point since it's an hour away. So stay tuned. Fish going to go in the boat. That's the next time you're going to see me. Please subscribe. Do me a favor. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, right before we start, I'm going to show you the first fish I have targeted right here. He's on a stump right here. And what I like about that fish is A, I can sit back here and he's not moving around so it's easy just to keep him right there at 15 feet and we're gonna bother him until he makes a decision either spook off or or take a bite at it so um yeah that's the strategy right now 10 foot down i don't like the fact that it's 10 foot down because the more active fish on grenada right now have been around two three foot a lot shallower but we've noticed that the fish that are on structure are extremely stubborn. They don't want to leave that structure whatsoever. And you can get them to bite as long as you put it right on their nose. So, and that's where the three pound fishing mar fish came from. Marcus, his fish was on structure. We pitched at that one for quite a bit and eventually it took it. So actually I'm going to go at this fish with a curly tail, um, which has not been, which has been really good actually on structured fish, but not necessarily on the fish that have been moving around. So that's what I'm going to use on this guy right here. He looks like a really good fish. So at least if we can get this guy in, that would be awesome. So that will be the first fish we're going to drop on. You're going to see. All right, folks, it's day one of the Crappie Masters at Grenada. This is a major event, and I'm gonna take you all the way to the end, as you're seeing here, at the end of this video. So stay all the way to the end of this video. Hey, the beginnings don't always start like Darbone, where we catch the big fish right off the bat. Sometimes they fool you on live scope, it's no, lo no joke, and that's what happened there on my very first fish. So stick with me, please subscribe. We're about to put some major fish in the boat. First two pounder. Oh my God. It took way longer than I wanted it to take. It took about an hour, folks. An hour. My guy was about two feet up. And it's a dandy. 229. God dang, that took so long. That, took, that was very frustrating. Scary at the same time. So no joke, I was I was really frustrated because you know the pre-fishing was so good, and for me to wait an hour to get my first good fish, it was uh, unexpected. This was my number one spot, and I was having to leave it after an hour and a half. So uh, on to our number two spot, and that's where we're at right now. And it turns out to be a dandy and I, I remember kind of debating whether or not this should have been the spot i started at uh, but i went to the other place that's where marcus he had caught his three pound fish and uh, i knew there were some big fish around there so either way we're at number two spot and we don't really leave this spot for the rest of the day let's go
Number two. Took a long time for number two and he didn't weigh that much. We need to get on the ball. Folks, those that are considering tournament fishing, it's no joke, there's a lot of stress involved, especially until you get your seven fish in the boat. And that's what I was experiencing, but we pick it up really quick on this spot. Folks, a lot of times people ask me, like, how does it feel to fish alone? Are you more nervous? Do you worry about, you know, losing a fish? I'll be honest with you. I haven't lost a fish on any event, knock on wood, that I've fished alone. And I do attribute that a lot to the canine line that I've been using. I do attribute that to making sure that my equipment is correct. You'll look at there and you'll see the, the location of that net. That net location is critical and I'll point it out later. You'll see me place it there. But I know where it's at at all time and when I feel like I need it, I grab for it immediately. So, um, but actually having nobody else in the boat is easy because there's no obstructions to getting to the net or anything else, to be honest with you. Bam, that's good fish. Big fish there. That was up high again. Two oh seven. Number six. This could be a big fish. That could be my three pounder right there. That could be my three pounder. We'll see. That's a tank. That is a tank. 284. Seven fish, 11 o'clock, or 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. That was work. Good fish though. So this is what I'm talking about. I'm always concerned about what's behind me, what's going on. I'm always making sure that net's hanging off that corner. That's the way I like to be positioned. I like, I don't want the net having to swing over the top or anything like that. Just literally on the water's edge is where I think it works best for me anyway.
good fish there. That could be a two pounder. Two on nine. Takes out number five. That could be my sixth, my sixth two pounder. Work, work, work. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close, folks. This is, I'd say overall, it's a harder day than what it's been. But we're still gonna end up with the best number that we've ever had. That's a good fish. We'll see if it matters. All right, folks, after a slow start, we actually had a great afternoon, and we put a decent weight together on a fantastic time to be on Grenada Lake. Hey, before we go to the weigh-in, don't forget, three-pound fishing guide service. Give me a call if you're interested in a guide service. But here we go. We're going to the show. All right, another team coming up here with seven fish. Did you get them today? Yeah. Eh. <laughs> well, you know what's going to tell the story. This is going to tell the story. Seven fish for the Ozark Rods team. Three pound fishing in the house. Follow Matt. Matt Naviano, Marcus Garrison. All right, day one weight coming at you. 1666. 1666. Got anything in that 3 6 range that you might have? No, but I do want to weigh in. Absolutely. Put that out, Matt. Do it right over there. Getting lots of tips and techniques for Matt on his three pound fishing site, so make sure you check that out. Now that's one of those long fish. 296, 296. It already spawned out a little bit, hadn't it? 296, a good picture. Okay. Some better. There you go. I'll tell you what, we're not too unhappy about where we ended up. Of course, we spent a lot of time at the beginning of the day in our spot, our number one spot that didn't pan out and that really did hurt us. So had we gone to the other spot, which is gonna be the plan for day two, you'll see that. Um, I think we would have done a lot better. So our goal tomorrow is gonna to definitely be to beat this particular weight. Um, it's, it is kind of funny, you know, being unhappy about 16.66 pounds. That's the most I've ever caught in one day's tournament ever and a lot of people were saying the same thing so the weights will be crazy on this particular week on Grenada but hey it's exciting every time you drop on Grenada you feel like you could have a three pound crappie so stay with me uh, watch the next episode it should be out here in a couple days and uh, please subscribe thank you thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies